I am so happy to see you in person. It's good to be here in person. It's so strange. I know. You know. We were just talking about this this whole new world of finally getting back together a little at a time. It just it's it's just gonna take some getting used to, but in a yeah. good way. Welcome back, Kevin Roach of Civic Theater. Thanks for having me back. Perhaps I should say it to Shakespearean. Uh, accent should I? Uh, you, you, I mean, you should sound pretentious because that's kind of a, <laughs> kind of the point of the show. <laughs> so tell us about the show. Well, the show is called, technically called The Complete Works of William Shakespeare, Abridged, Revised. Um, and it is three actors who are trying to tell you all of the Shakespeare plays in under two hours, but they're kind of pretentious idiots about it. And so it's not, it's Shakespeare, but not really. <laughs> well, is the, I mean, are you using only the lines from Shakespeare? Or are there set up scenes to say? There are set up scenes okay. and dialogue, but the actors like play themselves. So they're almost playing caricatures of themselves. And what's funny is that two of our actors in the play, actually the, the characters are making fun of in the play, They've played those roles before. <laughs> and so it's kind of funny to see them throw in their little nuances that are from their actual serious, legitimate performances. Oh, but that's yeah. So it's a lot of fun, and we're doing it at Wesselman Park. Parks and Rec have been great with us. And we practiced the other day there, and we had so many people stop and ask what was happening because they would hear some real serious, nice Shakespeare, and then it would just blow up, and people would start screaming, and a man puts on a wig, and, you know, <laughs> what's going on? And I'm like, it's, it's a play. It's a fun play. <laughs> well, that got you some publicity. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, where are you going to be in Wesselman? We're right past the playground and that little bathroom area. Um, it was part of the old golf course that's boarded oh, up. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not a shelter, but we're right there on your right as you just get past the playground. Um, and the actors will be performing kind of where the uh, stand used to be. And the audience will just be out there in the grass watching. Do we bring our own chair? Yes, bring a long blanket, chair, whatever. blanket, whatever you want to sit on, cooler. You know, we're not going to stop you from bringing, well, we can't have alcohol, but we're not going to stop you from bringing water or soda or anything like that. Right. When does it go up? It goes up this weekend. Um, so it goes up this Friday, um, plays this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and next Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, oh, we don't have a matinee. Every performance is in the evening at 7 o'clock. Just worked out better that way. And as I understand it, it works out good because apparently it's supposed to finally get warm this weekend. Gonna be, well, he said, okay, thumbs up from Ron Rhodes. Over yeah, there. so okay. it's been really cool lately and kind of comfortable, uh, you know, but then it's going to get really nice and hot. So I'm kind of glad we're doing it in the evening. We're hoping... Rain holds off. <laughs> well, it looks it looking good right now. Good. now. Is this a free performance or do we pay? Or? No, there it is. You, you do have to get tickets. Okay. Um, we have our fifteen dollar rate, and then for our ticketing system, it's a dollar fifty. So you pay sixteen fifty. You can get them online, calling the box office, which obviously I'm not there today. I'm here, um, or I'm going to sell tickets right there at the event, um, and it's just a flat rate. You pay the same thing no matter what avenue um, you choose. But that's helping us kind of build ourselves back up and get back so we can perform more shows. Well, where are we now? I know it's been such a crazy year, especially for mm -hmm. the arts, and I know you had fundraisers and telethons and all of that stuff, so how are you feeling now about the future? We're feeling, um, I always use the term, cautiously optimistic. Yeah. You know, we don't want to say everything's great, but we don't want to say everything's bad. And now that a lot of restrictions have been lifted, you know, we uh, we talked before how, what, can, what do you do? Is it time to let people in? Not. So those are things that we have to take into consideration, but also so, you know, we're needing to kind of discuss the building itself, um, a building that's been empty for over a year, and is it safe to bring people in? Are there things that need to be done before we can do that? Those are all things we are taking into consideration before we make any choices for the new the new season. But well, when you decide, I know you'll be back with mm -hmm. us to tell us more, and we can't wait. Uh, and congratulations for making it through this year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Good to see you always and in person, especially. We'll be back with more local lifestyles right after this. Get your tickets for Shakespeare.